I am here with the legend, the legend, <laughs> Philip Ricardo Jr. We, we're talking about the man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor to be here with you, first and foremost, an honor That's to right. share the stage with you. Secondly, and then, you know, how did you prepare for this show? Was, you, was it a mental challenge? Was it a physical challenge? I know you've been just as busy as well. So how did you come to this show and what drove you to, you know, be ready for this show? Honestly, I didn't have a lot of time to prepare. I'm like you, I was a promoter. I didn't do the, the major legwork like you did for your show. I heard your show was on point, like awesome, the work you did. Um, I'm probably like this, the figurehead, the voice, uh, the face of the, uh, the, the show I did, uh, The Legends Classic, which I did on August 7th. And you know, I was contemplating doing a show because Mark, being the promoter that he is, Mark Terriella is like excellent promoter. He got this thing and made it such a major iconic thing. But, you know, he was asking me, and honestly, me and my wife, we had just had our wedding after COVID and everything, and I was so busy with so many things, even though my heart wanted to do this show, I just didn't feel like I could prepare properly. But Mark asked my wife, and she gave the thumbs up. And when the wife says, you can do it, I decided to do it. But unfortunately, I only had eight, nine weeks to do it. I came in doing the best I could. I had to really change my mindset to be focused on prepping. I mean, I was up, up five in the morning doing my cardio working out at night and doing cardio after a full day's work. And luckily the support of my wife, she was allowing me to do all that stuff, but it was tough. It was probably the toughest prep I've ever had. I had to really um, get strict with my nutrition. You know, I didn't have the time to kind of slowly get into it with like a 12 or 16 week prep, but here I am, so I did the best I could. Well, we're glad that you're here. First and foremost, because of the name that you carry and the perspective we all have for you, we're really glad that you are. You were able to share the stage with the Open Pros today. Uh, I'm sure we all enjoyed your presence. Uh, do you have any future plans for any shows for the rest of the year or, or early next year? Actually, I'm going to do the Natural Olympia as well. So since this is a qualifier for it, and of course, since I've won the Natural Olympia before, um, hopefully these next few weeks of prepping will help me get even better shape for that show, and it'll be a good way to end off the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, so... When you won the Natural Olympia, was that the year that the Generation Iron did the special on Natural Olympia? That is correct. So that year was amazing. You know, it was 2019, two years ago. Uh, they followed me around, and at that time it was my fiance Kelly. And, um, you know, everything just was worked out perfectly. God was totally on my side in that situation. And I was blessed to, you know, be in the documentary and the film. And ever since then, you know, my life has changed dramatically. It's been one of the iconic things in my life and my career. And so, you know... The, the Natural Olympia is a special show for me always. This is a special show as well. But, yeah, I've been very blessed my whole entire career. That's awesome, man. Um, so, funny story, Philip Ricardo Jr. actually judged my first show, <laughs> uh, my first pro show. Uh, yes. Gave me great feedback. Yes. Um, and ever since then, he's been, <laughs> you know, a, a staple in my way of training, you know, in mean, my, in my, in my, uh, my goal setting. Uh, so to see you, you know, on the big screen, you know, for the Generation Iron documentary for the for Natural Olympia, to see you doing it again, to see you here, we're thankful, my man. Thank you all for all that you do for Natural Bodybuilding and keep Thanks, going. Brothers. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, we out. Thank you.